Changing the default cart icon in your DV menu is a nice way to give your WooCommerce website a more personal touch. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you two different methods. In the first one, we are going to choose from over 360 DV font icons. And with the second method, you can add any kind of icon using a custom image like a PNG or SVG file to replace the default cart icon. Let's go! You'll find all the links and resources needed in this tutorial on divimundo.com and if you're watching this on YouTube, you'll find the link in the description below the video. So in the first method, I will use a Divi font icon to replace the default cart icon in the Divi menu. And if you have used the Divi blurb module before, you are probably familiar with these icons. There are about 360 of them and there are some benefits of using them. First, they are vector based, so you can resize them without getting any pixelation. You can change the color and size using the Divi Visual Builder, so you don't need custom CSS for that. They are fairly small and load fast because these are fonts and not images, and they are completely free to use. First, you have to make sure that you have created your menu using the Divi Theme Builder and not the Divi Theme Customizer. And uh, there's a link to, to a tutorial on how to do that in the blog post if you haven't already. And I strongly suggest that you create your menus using the theme builder since the theme customizer actually is a deprecated way to create menus in Divi. Second, you have to make sure that you display the cart icon in the Divi menu module settings in the theme builder. And there's a link on a tutorial on how to do that as well in the blog post. With that said, let's replace the default cart icon with our custom font icon. And I listed nine examples of cart icons that I think is nice alternatives to the default one. Uh, you have this minimalistic shopping bag icon, for example, or the solid version of that. You have a line icon for the default shopping cart, portfolio bags, gift boxes, download icons. But there are over 300 more, so I will show you how to choose from them as well. But if you like one of these examples, we can take the first one, a little bit of a Shopify look. So let's copy that snippet by clicking the square. So I'll go to my uh, DV website and up in the right corner, you can see the default shopping cart icon to replace it. I'll simply go to the theme customizer. And if you are in the WordPress dashboard, you will find it under DV and theme customizer and we will click the additional CSS tab. And in here, I'll just paste the CSS snippet. And you can see that we have our new cart icon, which is now a shopping bag. And if you don't see this change immediately, you can also try to refresh the page by clicking your site logo. And uh, then you should see the new icon. So just click the blue publish button to save this and you are good to go. Now, if you want to change the color or size of this, you can do it in the theme builder. So I'll exit the theme customizer and I'll go to Divi and theme builder. And from here, I'll go to my global header settings and I'll edit my menu module by clicking the cogwheel. And in here, I'll go to the design tab and the icons tab and in here i can change the color of the cart icon we can choose maybe 333 which is a nice dark gray color and you can see that it changed immediately now you maybe noticed that this displays the old default cart icon but don't worry this is just when you are inside the dv theme builder and editing for some reason, this will not um, show your custom cart, but when you preview it in front end, you will most definitely see the custom font icon that you used for your cart. So I will show you that in a minute. Now I can resize the cart icon by dragging this one. And uh, as you can see, this trailing items text is inheriting the font size, so if you don't want that, you can go to cart quantity text. And this has 14 pixels, but that is not 14 
14 pixels, you can just change this value to something else. Maybe like that. Let's close it and uh, exit, save. And I always click this green save button, even if it says all changes saved. Okay, so if we check in front end, you can now see our new custom font icon with the new sizing and the new color. So even if you see something else in the theme builder, this is the icon that will be displayed in front end. Now, what if you want to use another icon, not just one of these nine? Then you can go to this blog post from Elegant Themes where they list the codes for all these 360-ish font icons from Divi. So let's scroll down. It's a long post and here we have it. So here we have all the different icons listed. So let's say that I want to use maybe this star. Let's take that one. Just I'll just click this code and I'll copy it and I'll go back to my WordPress dashboard and I'll go to Divi and theme customizer and I'll head over to additional CSS. So now I want to replace this code. So that is what comes after the quotation mark and the backslash and before the ending quotation mark. So I'll paste this. And now we have to clean it a little bit before it works. Should If I should refresh the page now, it will look pretty weird, as you can see here, because the code is not working. So we should click after the X, and we should delete that one. We should delete the hash, and we should delete the ampersand and also delete the last semicolon before the quotation mark. So it should just be this letter and these numbers. And now if I refresh by clicking the logo, it looks better. You can see the star. So this is also described in the blog post. It's easy to get this wrong when you copy the code, but delete the three first characters when you copy the code and uh, keep the backslash in the code. So for the next method, we're going to use a custom image as a Divi cart icon. So now you can use any image you like, but I would recommend that you use a PNG or SVG and uh, that you make it transparent. And you can use a design tool like Canva or Adobe Illustrator to create this. I also provided a free icon pack download with 10 nice minimalistic cart icons that you can use. Uh, you can find them in both PNG and SVG vector format, and uh, they are available in black, gray, and white. So just add your email address and uh, subscribe to my newsletter. I promise I will not spam you and you can unsubscribe at any moment. And you'll get the download link for this free cart icon pack. So let's get back to the tutorial. So the first step now is to upload my image file, the icon that I want to use. So I'll head back to my WordPress site and I'll just delete the old font icon CSS because we are not going to use that anymore. And if I refresh, we can see that we have the default icon back. There we go. So I'll exit the theme customizer and I'll go to media. And if you want to upload your own icon, you click add new and you can drop it here. So I've already uploaded this SVG icon, a shopping bag. So I'll click that one. And now I can see the file URL. I'll click the copy URL to clipboard link and I'll exit and I'll go to Divi and theme customizer and additional CSS. And I'll just add this link here as a note and I hit enter a couple of times. So we will fix this in a second. I know that this is an error message. So this is just temporary. And I'll go to the blog post. And now I will copy this CSS snippet. 
by clicking these squares and I'll go back and I'll paste the snippet. Okay, so this snippet will add a custom cart image icon in the Divi menu. All we have to do is to replace this URL so it reflects the real URL to the icon. So I'll take this URL and I will click Command X or Control X on a PC. You can move this one up. And now I will um, highlight this URL and make sure that you have these small uh, quotation marks that you don't delete them. And now I will paste the URL. And boom, we have the new custom cart icon there. And the same thing, as I said in the last chapter, if you don't see this change immediately, you can just refresh this and you should see it here. So one important thing here is that the height and the width matches the height and the width of the image that you're using. If you're using an SVG image, uh, that's vector, so then you just have to make sure that it's the same dimensions. So in this image, it has the same height and width. So I could just change this to maybe 50 times 50, and I will refresh. And it will still look good, maybe a bit big. Uh, but if you would use a PNG, you have to use the same numbers here, or else it could be pixelated. So if I would use the wrong values, maybe I would say 30 in height, it will look a bit distorted. Yeah, like that. So make sure that you use the right dimensions and for PNGs, the correct size. Let's make that 30 times 30 again, because I think that looks better. Now there's one last detail here, and uh, I think the spacing here between the last menu item link and the cart icon is a bit small, because we use a little bit bigger icon than the default Divi cart icon. So I would like to increase this spacing. So if we go to the blog post, we have this extra CSS snippet. So I will copy that. I will go back to the theme customizer and I'll paste it below. And boom, we have some extra spacing here. And of course you can adjust this margin left number. And uh, this has a media query here, which means that's, that this will only apply for the desktop menu. So we can check this out in the mobile menu. It will look like this, pretty neat. So um, this of course also works for the mobile menu in Divi. So now you just have to publish your settings and we have our new custom image icon in frontend. And here we go. Looks pretty nice, I think. That's all for today. Feel free to like and comment this video if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials coming your way. Thanks for watching. Thank you.